I've been the work of one of Balthazar's necromancers, Cressa Bone Daughter, dated two ten days ago. After the state the Fallen One was in, I never expected Cressa would be able to save it. I was hoping the usurped thing would die. That's what it would have wanted. It's not as if Cressa's studying it is going to prove much. It was damaged in the attack far beyond what the mere tadpole could do, but she seems fond of the foul creature. Let's play with it. Another entry seems to be written into this log dated a ten day later. I should not have, in hindsight, let Cressa keep her pet. Ever since it was shipped onto one of the nautiloids to be deployed, she's been inconsolable. It won't survive out there. It needs me. It isn't like the others. The feral thing will make a fine warrior for the absolute, and now my best assistant is distracted thinking about it. Ha! She will come to heal soon again. I wonder what she's talking about. Severed legs, pelvis, torso. Lovely. We can loot a heart from this. You can also loot a heart from here. Now, I don't know if that lever's for the door. I don't remember. I do know that there's a funky thing that happens if we poke this book here. Then this ancient altar opens up. And then we can put a heart in there. A healthy heart, then a poison brain. Right? That's what the book said. Now, I don't know if you can really figure it out just from the book, so much as like quick save and trial and error. I certainly were not able to just solve the puzzle by itself. Cold brim hat. Once per turn, any condition inflicted on a target also applies two turns of encrusted with frost, which affected entities disadvantage in this area. Saving throws when there are seven or more turns remaining, the entity must Succeed a constitution saving throw or take one to four cold damage and become frozen. Covered, removed by burning. So if we could stack encrusted with frost, that's another possible build. I don't know, I'll send it to camp. Although I suspect all that stuff is a little too fiddly. The lightning stuff has some value, but other than that, I know. Research notes, I redirected some materials from beneath the towers. I plan to simply raise what forces I need inside the mausoleum itself, but the general prefers that no more of his family crisps be disturbed. Even so, I have no choice. The temple will not surrender the Night Song easily, and the general's invulnerability depends on it. I am sure he will forgive a little transgression if it frees the army to move to Baldur's Gate at last. So, the Night Song is key to Kethric's power. If we can find it. The necromancer was experimenting on the tadpoles. Bobble but they were already imbued with Netherese magic. So where did that magic come from? A goblet filled with the mutilated corpses of a little Interesting parasite. that there's some things that, yeah, my uh, Whatever dream wizard doesn't godly know. godly experiments were performed on them likely killed them. Pick up a dead pixie. For snack later. Broken moons, nine turns, more dead pixies. Poke the ritual circle. A ritual circle? The kind of place moon lanterns are crafted, most likely. I don't think we have to carry the dead pixie around. Now you hook up some pixie six. Pixie six. Okay, um. Well, shit, we gotta pull this lever, right? All's well that ends yeah, not as bad as it could have. Light on my feet. Wing brother took my meat. Swoop and steal. Where's the mole? Oh, it's climbable here, so we could have come around this way. To end up where? I guess there's sort of an area you can walk on here. 
strange. What would be the purpose of climbing these roots? Charred spell book or prayer book. My dark goddess. When I lost my daughter, I learned my purpose. My dark goddess. When I learned my purpose, I gathered the flock. My dark goddess. When the flock was full, I punished the wicked. My dark goddess. When the wicked struggled, I struck them down. My dark goddess, I am yours. General Catherick loses daughter, and that's why he Watch turned back. to. What are we here? The Shar, goddess of loss. I'm sorry, 30? can do it, technically. We're not going to catch Grace. It's possible. We'll give it a couple. We got lots of Thieves tools. We'll give it a few. Oh my god. 29. I think we'd be here for a while. We have a lot of pluses, but even then. No time to rest. Yeah, this one is lever from the inside. Um, okay, that's fine. How much farther can I go? Over here, where does that go? This room. Ah. Uh, I still don't like that we haven't found mole. If we can even find them here. So, we haven't been in here or here. This is the door to the outside that was hard to pick. We've got that. Do I just go into slaughter mode now? But it is all full of little bones. There, door there. Big patrol. I mean, if we're gonna do anything, it's gonna be from the outside. I wonder if um, do I have like wanton criminality is attracting attention? Perhaps you should defuse the situation before things turn ugly. I guess I must have walked somewhere I wasn't supposed to. Just testing your observational skills. You've convinced them. Okay, whoa. Where the frack am I? That I got in trouble. I'm confused. Okay, I'm allowed to be over here. What is, um... What is the fifth... The, the 5e, like... Because knock isn't in 5th edition. Oh, it is. Never mind. I thought it had a different name. But still scroll of knock. Well, I'm going to use it. It'll turn out it's like, it's not a mundane lock. Outliner, never likes stairs. Carlax is impressed. Enter a restricted area in Moonrise Tower from the outside. Okay, so I have gone into this room in the multi, and I, but I can't remember how it works out. Stand, soldier. These are the general's private quarters. You know, I'm going to get to the point where I just Wait. wish I'd cast Eagle Splendor. Something in your scent is... Familiar. Sworn tire me no harm. Give the best salute. Down lapdog. True soul walks with it. Please stay still. Let them smell you. Wait, what? So I would walk in here in multiplayer, but I don't think we had Scratch's ball. I don't think we had this familiar scent thing. Let her smell us. I wonder if it scratches ball that she smells or that's just going to be a distraction. Uh, four or five. Well, okay. Let's let her smell her first. I'm hoping we do four and then five. Did save, so five. All right, let's go five then. That's what everyone in chat is saying, five. Wants the ball? You want the ball? Do you 
take me for a teething pup. Yeah, okay. Get that out of my face. Though whichever whelp owns that thing smells. Oh. Oh. Happy. Safe. I've not scented such a thing since I was flesh. Since my master brought me back, this place smells wrong. His family is gone, replaced by bootlickers and beasts. You are neither. So tell me true. What is your purpose here? Seek the Grail. Um, to serve Kethrick as loyal as you do, I only want to stop the Absolute. Your master is beyond saving. I'm here to end him. Make sure your master dies screaming prefer preferably. I kind of just want to tell the truth. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? We have to fight on a dog. I only want to stop the Absolute. I protect my master. What becomes of his hey. master, I care not. Pass, then. But I will be watching. Hey! My scent seemed to trigger a memory in you. What was Not it? Your scent. Slunite magic. Oh, from before Catherick turned to Shar. The general once. It was his daughter. When I don't his know if we knew that. Still lived. I died the same night she did. My master says, trying to protect her. I do not what remember. What killed his daughter? But he brought me back. I will not fail him again. So, are you cool if, like, I just robbed this place and everything? Missive from Gortash. General, given what we know from my research about the Gith artifact, I can't emphasize enough how quickly it is it is recovered. That's our, our D20. The power the artifact contains can boost our own efforts to unforeseen levels, but it falls into the hands of the enemies of wit and persistence. Well, lucky for them, it hasn't fallen into someone with wit and persistence. Well, we are persistent. I'll give it that. It would bring down all our plans and schemes. The body of our handpicked captain for the artifact raid wasn't found in the wreckage of the Nulloid, and I'm not at all easy in my mind about that fact. Holy fuck, it's Shadowheart. And her lack of memories, isn't it? No, we got Shadowheart here. Wait, where were we reading? No, we were reading in the book. Someone's pet had been sent over there, was damaged, but was sent out on a mission. Handpicked gen- Is it Shadowheart? Cause that would be a hell of a twist, wouldn't it? But no, she did not be working for the Absolute. She's working for Shar. Who would be the handpicked captain for the artifact raid? That's the thing with someone who's missing memories. It could go. It could be anyone, right? Have Shadowheart talk to the dog instead of you. My faith will guide me. Let's give it a try. Oh wait, she doesn't have to speak with animals though. Uh, hang on. Could be me. It could be the uh, the dark urge. Would it be all right if I give you a scratch? You'd be the first of the general soldiers brave enough to try. Doesn't seem to be any different, but oh my god! Scratch the dog. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Or girl? Who's a good doggy? All right, that's enough. <laughs> the wiggly butt. I mean the Not scent. Not your side, but he yeah, brought. Yeah, okay, that's the same. All right. Never a dull moment. An unsent letter on the floor behind this chair. Let's see what this I don't this remember does. what we did. Uh, Demon Act in our game, did we just stealth around and ignore the dog? I don't know. Balthazar, I thank you for returning what was mine and have no doubt all will be well once the war is won. After that, I believe our business will be concluded. Different life, a better life awaits. Returning what is mine. I wonder if it's the dog. If Balthazar raised the hmm. dog. Don't touch me. 
Hmm. Oh, what's that? Elder Brain Domination. Ah. Uh, hey, wait, did we read this in multiplayer or did we just skip over? Can this dog in a different way? We did actually talk and not murder for once. Okay. Confidential, dictated to scribe Yanthos by General Kethrick. Young Gorshash's plan to enslave an enlisted Elder Brain and make it our marionette under the control of the Crown of Karsis has proceeded almost without flaw, bearing the slight delay while our Balist allies sorted out their leadership conflict. See, we found this like secret thing in multiplayer, but I don't think we read it because we are like we looted and then ran, I think. So, so I guess, okay, Kethrick was once a Selenite, turned to Shar. And then I wondered when, at what point, did Kethrick stop being an agent of Shar and become an agent of the Absolute? But maybe he never did stop being an agent of Shar. And instead, um, this is just like the whole thing with the Absolute, again, Again, the initial thought was that there were these three figures below the Absolute. Whereas in fact, based on what's been going on today, I think the, the situation is different. These three figures controlling the Absolute, which then controls everything else. And that's what we're hearing about here. So Gortash, Kethrick, and someone else are the three figures that have figured out how to control the Elder Brain. These are my theory craftings. Again, not looking at chat for a second in case there's a spoiler or something. Um, barring a slight delay while our ballist allies sort out their leadership conflict. I mean, this has been going on for a while, so. The weak point must surely be the sharing of the nether stones. It was necessary to secure my engagement and that of the murder cult, but eventually it's certain to fracture a fragile alliance. Clearly all three nether stones must be controlled by a single leader. Me by preference, but not until after all the stakeholders have made their essential contribution. Gortash fears that. Energized by the dark energies of the crown, the brain we now call the absolute will eventually metamorphose into something new and more difficult to control. If he's right, then I mean, we're gonna have to start working on like freeing the uh, the elder brain now. It probably still destroy it, but but it's sort of a victim in all this. If he's right, the need to invest the power of the Nether Stones in a single wielder is urgent. Even more so in that Enver Gortash at least must be thinking the same way. Bad guy's gonna bad guy. Wait. Oh, I guess you could, might be able to notice it just by walking over it accidentally. That's funny. Oh my god, what if we bring out Scratch? So that's progress. That's an excellent idea. Um, how do we do that? Is it not in here? Do I activate the ball? I thought. I can't remember how to bring out Scratch. I thought I had a button over here. I can try activating the ball here in a sec, but. There we go. It's, it was the ball. It's because Karlak had it. Oh, he's got the blessing of Saloon as well. Um, Still breathing, despite everything. Yes, soldier. Nothing. I'm a little disappointed, actually. That seemed like such a great idea. I guess there had to be something Larian didn't think of. Okay, we're gonna open that chest, but I might save. One day I'll catch a break. Save it for after, like last, just in case. Tracting drow exiles. Oh, dictated, described Yanthus by General Kethrick. Sweeping up individual drow renegades is not giving us the cadre of loth trained veterans I want for our staff and officer corps. We must be more ambitious. Ancient Zliller, True Soul 113. Wow, they're numbering them. This feels very, um. World War II German esque, right? Like. Those sort of like numbering and evilness, you know what I mean? Uh, we'll be commanded to infiltrate Men's Brands in itself, ideally House Baron, ostensibly to proselytize on the behalf of the Divine Absolute. I think Zilvery will be convincing in this role. This intrusion will excite outrage among the Baron matrons. 
who can be counted upon to send a warband to exterminate whoever was so rash as to promote anti-love apostasy in their home. Zilvery, we, we ran into a Zilvery in this, didn't we? We'll have left a clear trail back here to Moonrise Tower, where the warband will find not a circle of ragtag heretics, but an army in the making. We'll parley with the drow leader, uh, but as we negotiate with her warband will be ambushed and every drow warrior we capture will be tadpoled. This accomplished, the warband leader will meet the same faith, and thus we shall acquire a cadre of hardened uh, underdark warriors. I think um, Mithandra was Mithandra Bairn or whatever. I can't remember. And all will cost us the life of a loyal agent, Zilvery, uh, but he is, truth be told, tedious enthusiast will not be missed. Maybe we just found a body somewhere? I feel like we saw that name, but I might just be imagining it. I'm getting so much lore coming into this room, I'm really happy I cast that spell. Most of the text has been scarred away by time, but what remains appears to be some form of ritual incantation. Your white ribs, your white ribs, the pillars, your bleached skull, the dome. Take on Apostle's final form, Cathedral Wrought of Blessed Bone. Catherick's been studying something called the Apostle, but of which god? It's gonna be a freaking ball spawn thing again. The Ethics of War by Kristana Suolto. My colleagues and maps proposes fair rules of engagement in times of war and forgiveness upon victory. Are we to spare enemies then once they have fallen to our might? Are we to put all hatred behind us when surrender is offered? Indeed not. For what shall we do once our opponent gathers new armies and masses them once again along our borders? We shall wage another war and count the lives snuffed out by our own mag magnanimity. Uh, once an enemy kingdom is conquered, it must be raised to the ground. Only then can it be free of a specter. Wow, those are um, some sort of ethics. I don't know if I'm going to do anything with that ritual thing. Um, yeah, we have a variety of conquest plans. Okay, let's open this opulent chest. Someone there. There. Us Baron is Dritz's house. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Symbol. Ethics of War NA. Not applicable. Bam. Another cloak! Cloak of Elemental Absorption. Absorb elemental damage once per short rest. Take half damage from the next elemental attack targeting you and deal an additional 1d6 that element upon your next attack. Passive feature. Oop. And a letter to Ketherick. My darling husband, I know my time is drawing near. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave our little girl, but I'm not writing to lament our lot. It's ours and no others. Uh, though the City of Judgment is dark, I know our lady's light will find me even there. I will see her shining spires and walk the silver gardens we both dreamt of. I go to my reward. I leave quite a task to you, uh, my heart. Seluna's light shines bright on our little one, but she will need a guide to keep her on her path. I have no doubt she'll keep you on yours. I mean, so, I mean, Catherick lost everyone, right? He lost his wife and then at some point lost his daughter and his doggy. Um, so I can see why he turned to the Lady of Loss. The same path, our lady's path, and one day I know it will bring you back, uh, both back home. Back to me. Only not too soon, I hope. I won't say goodbye. There is no loss, only temporary separation. How I love you forever, Melodia. Why, that's almost beautiful. Imagine what she'd think if she saw him now. Imagine. Um, I don't think it really matters. Theoretically, maybe Dell should get this because um, he does some elemental damage, but it's the next attack. I don't think it really matters. Tell you what, Asterin. Ooh, the color's no good. Maybe we'll have to do some dyeing. This doesn't really match your armor. We're gonna have to play some, some fashion at some point. Theories Catherick misread his destiny. He was actually supposed to be join Malice and practice as a dentist, worshiping the Lady of Floss. Oh, God damn it. All right. I feel just an unlabeled potion. I feel like this room has been looted. All right. What now? Sufficiently. These boots we got have seen tons it. of lore. A semi-useful magic item. Seems simple enough. Um, as far as I know, 
Wait, we haven't been in this room. No. This is where we climbed up the vine. Is this the 